Hello everyone. You all know that from last one and a half months, we are running daily minute series. But on Saturday, I made an announcement that from this week, means from right from today, we are going to start a fresh topic that is milk. Okay, this entire week, we are going to cover the milk topic. It means we'll conduct near four lectures of milk. Okay, lecture one, lecture two, lecture three, and lecture four. And lecture five and six and will be the, regarding the questions of milk. See, guys, you all know that we are going through a tough time due to this uh, coronavirus, okay? But uh, if you remember the last year condition was more worse than this time, uh, this year, but then also the examination was taken at the scheduled time. Few exam, exams were postponed, but that was not canceled. Now, if you talk about the AFO, the last year AFO has took place at the scheduled time only. This year also the FCI application form is over, RRBSO application form is over, and we are going to get application form of AFO also. So guys, without wasting the time or without thinking whether the examinations will be postponed or canceled, what will be the possible number of vacancy, you all have need not to think all these things, just to focus on the study, okay? And during this time also, we'll try our best to give you all the things that is required for the examinations, okay? So without wasting the time, let's start the lecture, okay? Just listen the lectures carefully. And in this lecture, we, we are going to provide you the PDF also regarding these lectures, okay? So let's start this lecture. See, <clears throat> in this lecture, first I am going to show you the questions that has been asked in the previous examinations regarding milk. After that, we are going to start the what is milk and the, its physical and chemical properties. In second lecture, we'll talk about the how milk is formed. Okay, again, in the third lecture, we're going to discuss about the techniques that have been used in the milk industry. Okay, and in the last lecture, we are going to talk about the byproduct of the milk or the product of the milk. All these we are studying in fourth lecture. After that, lecture fifth and sixth will be regarding the questions of milk. Okay, see, first I'm going to see, I'm not going to explain you any questions at that uh, this time because when i will take all the four lectures after that you will automatically know or you can answer the questions yourself only so give, without uh, these questions will not be explained by me first let me explain the topic and after that you will feel that there is no need to ex explain the questions because your every concept will be cleared first question is breaking of milk fat globules into a small uniform size is known as Second is solid not fat in cow milk as per the standards of food alteration. Third, RS test is done to check the purity percentage of which milk product. Again, the secretion of milk by the glandular secretory tissue of milk animals and their the collection in the various duct system terminating in the letdown <clears throat> when subjected to a specific stimuli. Which type of emulsion is found in milk? Which element is responsible for yellow color of milk? Which hormone is responsible for milk breakdown? What is the SNF content of recombined toned milk? Yellow color of cow milk is due to. Why is both buffalo milk not yellowish in color? What is the milk availability per capita to, according to 2017-18? Bacteria is removed from the milk by using centrifugal action force is called SNF in cow milk. Amount of blood passing through udder for one milk of uh, one ml of milk. Okay, after that, see, in this questions, near about 20 to 25% questions answers, you can know by the end of today lecture only. But if you want to know the answers of all the questions, then you have to attend all the lectures, all four lectures you have to attend. Okay, nearly about 25% questions that you will be covered in today lecture. Okay, so let's start the lecture. See. There are some important points regarding the milk that will that I'm not going to teach right now because see these important points are from different topics and physical properties, chemical properties of milk, milk formation processes, and after that uh, that detect different techniques that is used in milk industry. After that, uh, about the products of the milk and byproduct of the milk. That's uh, that from different topics this uh, important points has been taken. So this I, I will explain at the end of fourth lecture. Today, we are 
<clears throat> we'll discuss only about the milk and milk chemical and physical properties. Milk and its composition we are going to discuss today. Sub, sub, uh, for the uh, first, what we are going to see, what is milk? Milk is a entire, a complete lacteal secretion by the mammary gland of mammals. Okay. How it is obtained? Simple, by the process of milking. When during the period after the at least 75 hours after the calving, okay, or until the milk is free from cholesterol. Okay, just the milking process will be followed after the 72 hours, at least 72 hours after the calving, or till that lactose secretion which is free from the cholesterol. Now, what is cholesterol? It is the first secretion of the memory gland after the following parturition. Parturition is act of giving birth. That is cholesterol, and that is very of high nutritive value for the young ones or calf. Okay. Now let's talk about the cholesterol percentage. Yeah, composition of uh, this uh, cholesterol of different species. Now, if you talk about the cow, in cow milk cholesterol, you can see water is. 77.5 percent fat is 3.6 percent lactose is 3.1 percent and protein is 14.3 percent when you talk about the if its water is 58.8 percent fat is 17.7 percent lactose is 2.2 percent and protein is 20.1 percent when you talk about the goat then if you talk about the goat then water is 81.2 percent while if you talk about uh, the fat, it's 8.2%, lactose is 3.4% and protein is 5.7%. So water is 69.8%, fat is 7.2%, lactose is 2.4% and protein is 18.8%. When you see the PDF, you'll get the entire this data. So please don't note down the data right now, just to focus what I'm speaking, try to hear the lectures properly. Okay. Now, if you talk about the, the total TSS in milk is 12.5%, while the in cholesterol is 22.5%. Now, if you talk about the fat percentage in milk, it's 4%, and in cholesterol, it's 3.5%. Okay. When you talk about the compare it, when you compare the physical characteristics of cholesterol and normal milk of buffalo and cow, let's see. Although these all the fact um, point pH, specific gravity, boiling point, color of milk, and the viscosity will be discussed later on. But for right now, let's see. pH of cow milk is 6.4 to 6.6, .6, while of buffalo milk it is 6.7 to 6.8. A specific gravity of cow milk is 1.028 to 1.30, <clears throat> and the buffalo milk is 1.030 to 1.032. Boiling point of the buffalo or cow milk is same, 100 point. 1.7 degrees Celsius. And the color of milk is, cow milk is yellowish, trimming color, you know, it's due to presence of carotene. And it's a buffalo milk is creamy white. Viscosity of both cow or buffalo milk is 1.5 to 1.7 times higher than the water. And viscosity of cholesterol is more than the buffalo or cow milk. From these topics, questions are repeatedly asked in the examination. So you please, Mr. By heart, you have to remember these things. Okay, that when you talk about the cow fat percentage in cow is three, cow milk is three point five percent in buffalo milk it is five percent in goat and sheep it is three percent standardized milk it's four point five percent recombined milk is three percent toned milk it's three percent double toned milk is one point five percent and skim milk it's zero point. 5%. When you talk about the SNF, means solid not fat in cow, it's 8.5%. Buffalo, it's 9%. Goat and sheep, it's 9%. Standardized milk, it's 8.5%. Recombined milk, it's 8.5%. Toned milk, it's 8.5%. Double toned milk, it's 9%. And skim milk, it's 8.7%. See, this is also will be also explained later on. Fat is present in the form of fat globules, which is while in water type emulsion form, while if you talk about, see, the different type of milks, full cream milk, toned milk, double toned milk, okay, standardized milk, you can see it. After that, before talking about the fat, lactose, protein, and this uh, um, 
the precursors of milk let's talk about some more about the milk or you, i want to explain some terminology that maybe or that is beneficial to understand the, this topic let's start with one by one first is surface tension surface when you talk about the surface tension what is surface tension see surface tension a, this is the tension of the surface film of a liquid this is caused by the attraction of particles in the surface layer okay when the surface tension means in you know in milk there is constituent particles or there is a molecules when there there exists a, a, a this a force of attraction between them and due to the surface tension what happens the surface area of the liquid is decreased okay now when you talk about the viscosity just viscosity is the measure to per, uh, which uh, provide uh, resistance to flow resistance to flow okay after that when you talk about the specific gravity specific gravity then it's the density of fluid density of fluid any fluid and you take it compare with any standard fluid density of standard fluid that may be if liquid then water if gases then air okay now if you talk about the ha huh, see buffer what is buffer milk generally act as a buffer solution because a buffer is a solution that is buffer what it does it resist the ph change ph change if sometimes there is addition of acid or acidic or basic component then it it tries to neutralize the amount of acid or um, bases that has been added in that constitution a solution now <clears throat> three term one is emulsion second is solution and third is suspension just we have seen emulsion we have talked about the fat solution lactose and the suspension of colloidal that is protein means fat are present in the milk in the form of emulsions lactose is present in the form of solution and the protein is present in the form of collagen now how what is emulsion this is a fine dispersion of minute droplets of one liquid in another liquid in which it is not soluble you can see fat colloids are scattered in the milk eh? but that is not completely soluble in the milk okay when you talk about suspension this is a see when you talk let's talk about first solution okay when you talk about the solution so see solution then it's solute plus solvent okay take let's take example you take it sugar and plus water and this will give you syrup okay sugar acts as a solute and water acts as a solvent when this both combines gives solution and this is homogeneous mixture what is homogeneous mixture but suspension is heterogeneous mixture of two or more substance heterogeneous mixture okay now about the cause that questions when there was that fat is present in milk in form of emulsion and types of emulsion was, was asked that was oil in water because oil and water is never mixed up means you, 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 how oil uh, creeps or float on the surface of water that is not that homogeneous mixture both mixtures are not mixed completely okay <clears throat> now next this you have understood now let's talk about something more about the milk okay see the milk has a nutritive value but the milk if the nutritive nutritive value of the milk depends highly on its constituent of the of its constituent like fat snf all this it depends on it the when the milk man or uh, milk seller sells uh, they goes into the market and for selling the milk product or milk then they they are paid not only depending on the quantity of the milk but they are also by the quantity by the their constituent milk constituent particles like snf content or fat content their value is depends upon the constituent also and this composition of milk is highly dependent upon the feed that we provide to the animals okay indirectly that is dependent upon the feed uh, uh, feed that we provide see you must knowing about the product of digestion 
the product of the, the, <clears throat> the diet which animals is taking that has to be di digested and the product of digestion that are absorbed by the rumen and small intestine where into blood stream are they are also controlled not only by the ration of the cow but also their microorganism which which is present in the rumen okay now let's talk about milk and their this we have discussed little topic about everything but in milk if you see in milk there is a water after that solid uh, in, in water after that ts means total solid now if you talk about the total solid then it's a fat and after that solid not fat when you talk about the fat then there are two types of fat one is true fat and one is associated in true fat we talk about cholesterol carotene okay uh, phospholipid or bit and so in in, in a true uh, true fat we'll talk about the and that uh, uh, several fatty glycerides but when you talk about the associated substances then that will be cholesterol carotene yeah, vitamin a d e k phospholipid all these but when you talk about the solid not fat then in that lactose yeah nitrogenous substances mineral matter all these comes when you talk about the nitrogenous substances then nitrogenous substance means protein or non protein when you talk about the protein casein lactoglobulin all these are present in uh, where as a solid not fat okay after that let's see about talk about the precursors of the milk which we have discussed in brief let's see protein milk is made up of number of specific protein but casein is being most important uh, component and this is response this uh, cow milk is uh, this a uh, uh, regarding color huh? color cow milk is yellow in color with the presence of protein see casein lacto uh, lactoglobulin and lactoglobin these are not present in blood and they are synthesized synthesized from the precursors that is present in blood means from amino acids you all know that protein are the chain of amino acids and these are um, this protein comp uh, composes of 90 to 95% of the total protein in cow milk okay see hemoglobins and serum albumin they appears to be identical in blood and milk and thus they can diffuse from one miss they can in, uh, miss they are diffused from the blood without change in its any composition okay again let's talk about the lactose the principal carbohydrate that is present in the milk is the lactose which consists of galactose or glucose glucose is present in normal blood component but from the glucose by the chem various chemical reactions glucose is converted into the galactose eh? and the, the combination of glucose and galactose gives to lactose after that we are talking about the physical properties of milk see when you talk about the freshly drawn milk that has ph value is near about 6.5 to 6.7 we can say that slightly acidic okay we have talked about the buffer also now let's talk about the physical properties milk is nearly first we'll talk about the taste and order the milk is nearly slightly sweet have good aroma aroma that is presence of lactose and milk fat generally looks white in color milk due to the reflection of light caused by that fat globules and other colloidal substance the intensity of golden yellow color increases due to the presence of pigment carotene from this portion the questions are being asked in the examinations in case of for the most of the beta carotene that's get fully converted that beta protein is converted into vitamin a which is colorless that's why buffalo milk looks absolutely white when you remove the milk fat the skim milk so little bit greenish tint which is due to the presence of riboflavin or lactochrome see point number second in case of buffalo the most abundant beta carotene gets fully converted into colorless vitamin in the same statement was used in the afo 2020-21 now specific rate what is a specific rate already i have explained you but a specific rate of milk is this is first thing milk is heavier than water okay then a specific gravity of cow milk varies from 1.018 to 0 1.038 it varies with the temperature if you increase the temperature a specific gravity will become low or vice versa 
when you talk about the specific rate of individual constituent of milk that is far the, of water one fat 0 0.93 okay and like of minerals 4.12 when you talk about the boiling point water boils at 100 degrees Celsius under normal atmospheric temperature and pressure now the in the milk there is a dissolved constituents that enhances the boiling point from 100 degree 100.2 degree celsius to 101 degree celsius average you can take take of 100.17 degrees celsius in both cow and buffalo milk when you talk about the freezing point this freezing point of cow and buffalo milk ranges from minus 5.3 minus 0 0.5352 minus 0 0.55 celsius average you can take of 0 point minus 0 0.5.45 celsius it is to call that if we add one percent of water to the milk will raise the freezing point by 0 0.006 degree celsius surface tension it is phenomena attributed to the attractive force or cohesion between the molecules of the liquid exposed to the surface areas now these all the attractive force will converge into the center means they have the force all the force will act towards the center hence decreasing the surface area of the liquid after that the surface tension of milk is at 20 degrees celsius is 54.59 per centimeter when we decrease when we increase the temperature the surface tension of milk decreases because by increasing the temperature, you are increasing the kinetic energy of the constituent particles present in the milk. And when the kinetic energy is increased, the force of attraction existing between the milk constituents will decrease. Viscosity, I told you the viscosity refers to the resistance of flow caused due to intramolecular attractions. Yeah, the flow of the constituent particles will be restricted due to the force of attraction existing between the constituent molecules. At normal temperature, the viscosity of milk varies from 1.5 to 2 centipoles. After that, the viscosity of milk is always higher than the water due to presence of dissolved solid in milk. So in the next lecture, we are going to talk about the common terms related to the memory gland and lactation. And I told you um, in the Saturday deliminate series, we have announced everything that which part will be covered in which lecture. So you do a study these topics from your sites so that you can understand these topics very easily in the tomorrow video. Okay. So guys, just we, after the every video is completed, we are going to give you the PDF also. Just to attend the PDF, just to read, go through the videos and read the PDF nicely. After that, in the lecture number five and six, just to use, go through the questions that I will provide you on lecture number five and six. And after all this, after this week on next Sunday, you will feel that your the entire topic of milk or the any concept that is related to the milk is cleared very nicely. In spite of that, if you have any doubt, you can WhatsApp us. Our WhatsApp number is displayed there. You can WhatsApp or, or the things or the changes or the, your requirement, whatever your requirement is, you can message us. Or you can just comment in the comment section on YouTube. Thank you.